Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Madam Secretary, for, for being here. And uh, thank you also for being part of an administration that actually did leave the country with a surplus. Mr. Neal yesterday very eloquently went through that process. So I think the American people and even our colleagues over here on this side of the aisle, we point with great pride uh, your example, your leadership uh, uh, that you have uh, demonstrated, including the 12 million new jobs that have been created in just the past uh, two years. I also wanted to, uh, uh, because there's a lot of talk about fairness and debt, et cetera, and uh, I am now the ranking member of the Social Security Subcommittee. And uh, the Social Security, as you know, is uh, the nation's number one anti-poverty program for the elderly. And uh, hopefully we get the child tax credit back, but absent that, it's the number one anti-poverty program for children as well. I commend the president for his budget that increases the opportunity and makes Medicare more solvent and also strengthens Social Security. And it does so actually by paying for it. And the president uh, in his comments said, uh, and you pointed to this, that there will be no tax increase on anyone over $400,000. How many Americans does that represent? Uh, how many people are in that area of earning over $400,000? And is it fair that someone who's making thirty dollars or $50,000 or $75,000 pays in the whole time and someone like Elon Musk stops paying after day one for their Social Security? Isn't this about fairness? I, I think it is about fairness. and. Um, I think hardworking Americans who have counted on Social Security and paid into it their entire lives and dependent on it as their major source of income in retirement, I think we need to make sure that it's there for them and that we look for additional revenue to um, Americans with very high incomes, many of whom in total pay less taxes than a teacher or a firefighter. Um, and throughout the president's budget, there are many proposals to make sure, for the sake of tax fairness, um, that those individuals um, pay at least a, a minimum, a person making 100 million or more should pay at least 25% um, of their full income as taxes. But yes, I, I think it's, like, uh, like Mr. Critical. Kelly, I go to a lot of places, and everywhere I go, they ask me, when are we going to fix Social Security? And why is it that I have to pay in, and we learn from the president and this exchange, why do I have to pay in constantly out of every paycheck? It's called FICA, Federal Insurance Contribution, and the wealthy do not. Agreed.